Tribes. You know, it's amazing how easily man-eating tribes can be reasonable. Knowing I needed to get here more than ever, I lashed together a few bits of cannibal leftovers and warthog sinew to build a makeshift raft. Unfortunately, that was soon eaten by the sharks. Oh no! So I swam. I swam as fast as I could for three days. And arrived just in time to save me from the gallows. Nicely done, buddy. Nicely done indeed. And uh, yeah, three days? Exaggeration much. Kudos to your swim instructor. I was fueled by the fire of our budding friendship. That's a bit too cheesy. Yeah. Have you seen Elaine? Though? Have you seen Elaine? No. Not since she left me in a poxed rage. He's been doing a lot of that lately. Hmm. About the diary. I can't believe the voodoo lady has been pulling your ghostly slash demonic strings all these years. It came as a shock to me as well. But her diary spells it all out. You, me, Elaine. We're all part of the voodoo lady's malevolent plans. Malevolence is in the eye of the beholder, Guybrush Treepwood. I know this is difficult to understand, but things are not as they seem. No, things seem remarkably convoluted, which is what I've come to expect from you. I've always had your best interests at heart. Well, what about my interests? Without your meddling, I could have lived a normal, happy pirate's life. Ha! The destiny of LeChuck has never been normal. I guess so. And everything? How about the mountain of ice on the roller coaster of the dam? She was behind that? Especially that. Ooh. Uh, let's find you some bust. I risked life, limb, and manatee to get La Esponja Grande, and it's a puny, worthless lump. What? Soak up the gargantuan wonder that is La Esponja Grande. That is La Esponja Grande? But wasn't it supposed to hold infinite amounts of voodoo? I know. What a crock. The size of the sponge is meaningless. It is what you do with it that matters. Oh, yeah? yeah? Well, well, you, you fight, fight like, like a... a... Uh... <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Um... Yeah, the voodoo lady gave me this menu. So, Miss Spooky Pants gave me this menu which will supposedly put more grande in my esponja. Excellent! You wanna put some of your newfound deductive reasoning to the test and help me figure out what I need for the menu? I'd give my beard to be able to help you, but I'm afraid my pirate mind is not fit for such things. Which explains why after all these years you still allowed me to get within a nautical mile of you with a bottle of voodoo root beer. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, sit tight, buddy. Sit tight, buddy. Once I save Elaine, you're next. Don't worry about me. Alright. So we've spoken to him. Now let's go into the club. Maybe find something there. Uh, hey there, WP. Hey, WP. Captain Threepwood, what can I do you for? Uh, drink? No. I told you I was innocent. I told you I was innocent. Well, bully for you! Uh, meanwhile, we're still all poxed, there's a creepy voodoo priestess in my jail, and your wife's still threatening to sack our town. Truly, these are the best of times! Hey, at least things are interesting. Um... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, come to an end. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, more importantly, murder! Morgan Lafay has been murdered by the Marquis de Singe. Oh my, that is troubling. She was well on her way to becoming one of me best customers. Aren't you gonna do something? Oh, I'm sorry, lad, but I preside over a pirate court, meeting out justice exclusively for pirate on pirate crimes. <laughs> this this sounds like a case of mad scientist on privateer violence. Uh, totally out of my jurisdiction, you see. I think there may be a court in the lower mandibles that handles such affairs, along with ninja and clown crimes, uh, but they only convene every second Thursday. Ah. Yeah. Um. Looks like ladies' night has finally come to an end. 
I... I'm thinking about cancelling it in favor of something a wee bit safer. Like Ultimate Mumbly Pig Night or Amateur Tattoo Night. <laughs> Why Club 41? I've been wondering. Why is this place called Club 41 anyway? You know, I don't rightly know. <laughs> The last owner never got a chance to tell me before he succumbed to his dart-related injuries. <laughs> hmm. Okay, then. Well, nice talking to you, dude. But bye for now. Alright, anything in the bathroom? I don't need to use the facilities right now. Besides, that towel guy was a little creepy. Hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. Buffet table? Looks like Anything? Elaine and Morgan have made a dog's breakfast of your buffet. What? That mess? Oh, pasha, my boy! That's just the typical aftermath of our weekly ladies' night buffet table. <laughs> our lady pirates may be easy on the eyes, but heaven help you if you get between them and our bottomless salad bowl. Yikes. Hmm. Yeah, that's not too great, to be honest. No longer red carpet. They decided to put the rug inside after it was cleaned. Well, that's not really great. <laughs> uh, hey. Hey, Krebs. What do you want? Let's not. He's just going to get really angry at us. Bye. Arr. Yeah, like that, but much, much worse. So, I think I'm going to call the set here. We've basically done what I had done previously and a bit beyond. And, yeah, just to make sure that I don't lose this all over again, I kind of don't want to record a really long set and then lose it all, so there you go. Next set, I'll, uh, I'll find progress somewhere. I'm not sure where, but we need some meat, and I know I had some sort of meat, but I have absolutely no idea how I got it last time, so... I'll uh, have that figured out next time. Let's quickly throw it on the safe. That one. And save. Yeah, overwrite the set that never was. That's good. Alright. So I hope, you I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you next time. See you dudes.